Hello, welcome to Storytime, my friends. Today we are reading No Clean Clothes by Robert Munch. Hope you're ready. Lacey opened the top drawer of her dresser. No clean clothes. Lacey opened the middle drawer of her dresser. No clean clothes. Lacey opened the bottom drawer of her dresser. No clean clothes. Lacey looked all around her bedroom. No clean clothes. She ran downstairs and yelled, Mom, 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 why didn't you wash my clothes? Lacey, said her mother, I would wash your clothes if I could find your clothes. You hide them under your bed. You lend them to your friends. You leave them in the backyard. Sometimes I think you feed your underwear to the dog. Ew, that's not very yummy. Mom, said Lacey, don't be silly. All I need is one shirt. Can't you find me just one clean shirt? Well, said her mom, there is that nice shirt that Grandma gave you for your birthday. You have never worn it. That shirt is a strange Grandma present, said Lacey. When I was three, Grandma gave me a shirt that said Snuggy Wookums, and everyone laughed at me. When I was four, Grandma gave me a shirt that said Cutie Patootie, and everyone laughed at me. When I was five, Grandma gave me a shirt that said Cuddly Wunkums, and everyone laughed at me. When I was six, Grandma gave me a shirt that says Kiss Me, I'm Perfect. I am not wearing that shirt to school. Only a grandma would choose a shirt like that. Now, Lacey, said her mom, just wear it for this morning. I will wash a shirt and bring it to school at recess. You will wash it right away, said Lacey. Yes, said Lacey's mom. You will not talk on the phone? No, said her mom. You will not wash the dishes? No, said her mom. You will not go shopping on the way? No, said her mom. You will not go to work and chop down a tree? No, said her mom. Okay, said Lacey. I will be on the steps of the school at recess. Lacey put on the strange grandma shirt and walked down the road. A kitty cat looked up at her, read her shirt, and gave her a kitty cat kiss on her ear. Lick, lick. Neat, said Lacey. I got a kitty cat kiss. Maybe I am going to like this shirt. She walked farther down the street and met a dog. The dog read Lacey's shirt, jumped up, and gave her a doggy kiss on the ear. Lick, lick, lick. Wow, said Lacey. I got a kitty cat kiss and a doggy kiss. This is a wonderful shirt. Lacey walked farther down the street. An eagle flew in circles around her and landed on her head. It leaned down, read her shirt, and gave her an eagle kiss on the nose. Dink, dink, dink. Lacey yelled, an eagle kiss, an eagle kiss. I got an eagle kiss. I love my grandma. I love this shirt. Lacey walked farther down the street and met a moose. The moose looked at Lacey, read her shirt, and gave her a large, wet moose kiss right up the front of her face and over the top of her head. I don't know how to say that. Flirch. Fantastic, said Lacey. I am the first person ever to be kissed by a moose. When Lacey got to school, she ran inside and yelled, Teacher, teacher, look, I got a kitty cat kiss. I got a doggy kiss. I got an eagle kiss. I got a moose kiss all because of my wonderful grandma shirt. Neat, said her teacher, but maybe you should go and wash. Your hair is full of green moose slime. Yuck, said Lacey. Very gross. When Lacey came back to her desk, a boy named Johnny sat down beside her. He read her shirt and gave her a kiss. Quack, yelled Lacey. Boy kiss, ah! She ran back into the bedroom, bathroom and washed her face until recess. Then she went back outside and got really lucky because she was kissed by a bear. He seems pretty nice. I'd like to give him a hug. When Lacey got home after school, her mother said, I didn't see you at school. Did Grandma's shirt turn out to be okay? I love it, said Lacey. And I called Grandma from the principal's office. She's going to send everyone at school a strange Grandma shirt. And then they all got strange grandma shirts to wear to school and they're getting kissed by everybody. The end. Thanks for watching.